What's your name? Which one am I'm I? Daryl. Daryl, watch this. If you look at this sign right here, these names to the right tell you who we are according to slavery. Right. The names to the left I'm, tell you who you I'm are Judah. according to the Bible. But so you say I, you're Judah? I am a mixed give me, give me, uh, not a purebred Judah. Give me numbers 118. None of us are. Watch this. I'm going to show you who are purebred is according I, to the I Bible. Say, because according say. to the white man, we've been taught lies. That's but right. we're going to teach the truth according to this Bible. Y'all got to listen though. Listen. Read. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So this is Moses. He's assembling all of the congregation of Israel together. Read. And they declared their pedigree. What's a pedigree? Daryl. That a pedigree is a bloodline. It's, yes. Like she just mentioned just now. A bloodline. Read. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. After their families. By the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. So whatever your father is, is what you is. So there is no such thing as a non-pure breed. According to the scriptures, what your daddy is, you is. So if you was an African American, you are an African American. I don't care if, if, if your mama was white, Asian, whatever it might be, American. you are what your father is. Now I got a question. You just said that you were African American, which means you're from the tribe of Judah. Do you know who else come from Judah out of this Bible? What? Let's find out. Read that scripture. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The Bible says that it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Since so you ain't got to leave, come learn your nationality. Come learn, come learn the scriptures. Don't go nowhere, don't go nowhere now. I would love... All praise, all praise. Read it again, read it again. I would love to continue Hebrews this. Hebrews 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who is our Lord? Who is our Lord? Look at this picture right here. Who is this our Lord? No. Who is this? Who's this, sis? Somebody made up. That's somebody made up. What you think? I have no comment. You have no comment? This is our Lord. That's our Lord. That's our Lord. Okay, I got a question then. I got a question for you too. If our Lord is this man right here, and you so you saying he's a black man? No. If our Lord is a black man, why are we on the bottom as a people? We let we, we what? We let ourselves go. We let ourselves go. How you doing, brother? What's your name? What's that? Ruben. Ruben. May I ask you the same thing? Who's your Lord? This man over here. Or this man over here. Oh, you said the same thing. So I got a question for both of y'all then. If Christ is a black man, y'all both just proclaim. Why are we on the bottom? Why do we live in the hoods? Why do we live in the ghettos? What's that? Okay, I'm gonna go, go to Deuteronomy. I'm gonna go to Deuteronomy. Watch this. I'm gonna show you according to the scriptures while we're on the bottom. First of all, before you give me 28, give me uh, Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. Watch this. Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. We'll go to Job in a second. Let me give you a scripture in Job, matter of fact, since you're bringing out Job. Give me Job 30, verse 30. Reuben, right? Watch what Job say. What color was Job? Black. He was black? Yeah. I'm glad y'all know that. We're going to prove it in the scriptures. Then go back to Deuteronomy. Read this. Job chapter 30 verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Job said my skin is black upon me. So this whole Bible is a black man's book. <laughs> but we've been taught that it's whose book? Amen. Amen. Whose book have we been taught this is? Amen. The white man. Exactly. Yeah. But this, is, this has been our history book since day one. But there's a reason why we don't know that. You may know it, Daryl. You may know it, uh, Reuben. But why does, a, as a nation, why don't we know that? There go his name right there. The Seminole. Reubenites would be the Seminole Indians. So th those, those, those people who call themselves Native, Native Americans, the Indians, those are our people. Yes. If you look on the side further down, the so-called Puerto Ricans.
Tyler Ephraim. Those are our people. Give me Deuteronomy. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Moses said to Israel, Thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. What does holy mean? That means you, you holy means that you are you are you are a child of God. You, I mean Hold that, give me what holy means. Let me show you what holy means according to the scriptures. Okay. Read. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. Okay. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy, Read. and have severed you from Amen. other people. Amen. So God said. God, holy means holy means to be separate. So we are separate people from Amen. all the other nations in this world. Yeah. Go, back to, go back to Deuteronomy. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art a holy people separate. unto the Lord thy God. Amen. The Lord thy God hath Amen. chosen Amen. thee to be a special people unto himself. God said he made the Israelites a special people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, a special people unto himself. We, hold on, I got a question. Do, do you believe that all people are equal? No. You don't? Why would you say that? Because God has his chosen people, and, and God's people is God's people. Hey, it's brother in the spirit. Hey, read, read that scripture. Keep, keep reading. Read, finish that off. Hold on, down. Don't go nowhere. Okay. Above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. God's chosen people are above all people upon the face of the earth. So I got, I, I still got the same question to you. If we are above all people upon the face of the earth, why are we on the bottom? Let's get it. Let's get it. We're gonna find out why the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are on the bottom of the totem pole of all people. We. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Amen. But it shall come to pass, Amen. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Amen. And all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, with that said, Daryl, who's cursed? The ones who are not doing the commandments of God. Okay, what people? Yeah. Is it all people? Not necessarily. It's, it's, come here, come here. It, it, it's not necessarily our people. It's, so it could be the white man too? Yeah. All right. Anybody who's not doing God's commandments. All right, so, so, you, so basically what you're saying is God gave his commandments to all people. Yeah. Let's find out. Yeah. Give me Psalms. I'm going to show you who God gave his commandments to. Because that's another lie that we've been taught in the Christian church. That God is for all people. His commandments are to all people. No, it's not. No, it's to his chosen ones. But you just, that's not what you just told me. Watch this, read. Psalm chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel, his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Keep reading. He have not done so with any nation. The Bible says he ain't gave his statutes and his judgments, his commandments to any other nation. We, he have not done so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not done them. Praise ye the Lord. And then he said, praise the Lord for that thing. Only Israel can keep God's commandments. Right. Only Israel can break God's commandments because yeah. he only gave his commandments to, to Israel, people. his chosen people. So, who are his chosen people? Right here on this sign. Right These 12 yeah. tribes, the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, the so-called Native yeah. Americans. We are the people that suffer the curses, the judgments that God gave for what? Right. For committing sin. What is sin? Rebellion. Give me what sin is. Rebel, rebellion. Give me what sin is. Because we think that sin is just, like you say, being rebellious. Rebellious of what? Just being, just being, um, being rebellious. The reason why you don't know, Daryl, because you ain't been taught. 
Okay. These Christian churches ain't told us nothing but lies. Let's find out what sin is according to the Bible. We for judge the three verse four. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is breaking God's laws. So do you keep God's laws? I try to. You try. I try. You mean, uh, do you love God? Yes. How you show God you love Him? Because I raise my hand to Him every day. All right. Give me First John and then give me uh, First Corinthians. Read. Oh my God. First John, the five, verse three. You're gonna get the scriptures today, Daryl. Okay. Listen up. Read. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. Hey, how do you show God you love Him, brother? How you show? Watch out for the car behind you. How do you show God you love him? By keeping him That's not it. Listen to the scriptures. See, we don't know how to love God. We think we do. You might have a little bit of knowledge of who you are, but knowing who you are is only half the battle. You got to do what God say do. Read the scripture. Read. First John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. God said if you love him, keep his commandments. That's right. If you ain't keeping God's commandments and you know who you are, you still ain't nobody. That's right. Now I'm going to show you a commandment, Daryl. Let me see if you love God. Give me 1 Corinthians. If you love God, you're going to keep his commandments, right? That's what true repentance is. Yeah. Repentance is not something you say with your mouth. It's something you do. That's right. It's an action word. That you Watch hear. this. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is, is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The man is in charge of all women. Yes. You, the man is in charge of his wife. There's no 50-50 with God. Read. Yes. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. That is the order of the Most High God. God, Christ, man, woman. Read. You know, in today's world, the women leading the man. God said that's wrong. Yeah. The men think it should be equal in, this in, the, in the household, 50-50. God said that's wrong. The men are supposed to rule over their wives. Bring it out. Understand that. Read. Amen. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. God said every man praying, we're not praying or prophesying, but we are prophesying. We'll bring out these scriptures that's prophetic, that's, that's prophesying. It says, if you have your head covered, you're dishonoring the man above you, which is Christ. Your head is covered right now, Daryl. So what should you do? All oh, praises. That is repentance. That is how you show God that you love him. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth